If you felt the pain leave your body, if you felt like the heat or the power of God hit you and the pain left or, or you could do something you couldn't do before, would you come up to this side of the stage and testify? If you haven't gotten a breakthrough yet, you know where it comes. You just keep on focusing on him, amen. Because it's Jesus, you know? It's Jesus that heals you. And he's gonna heal you right in your seat without anybody even touching you to just prove that it's him, amen? Hi, this is Katie Souza. I'm with Expectant in Ministries, and this is Miracles from the Road. We're in Virginia, and it's chilly out, but we're ready for an amazing conference tonight. We're expecting major signs, wonders, and miracles. In today's segment of Miracles from the Road, we're going to show you some awesome, incredible testimonies about bone miracles, people's bones being straightened out, spines being straightened, uh, fingers being straightened, ankles, feet being healed. We're going to talk about legs growing out. You're going to see some amazing testimonies because you know Jesus is the most amazing chiropractor in the planet. So why don't you watch these testimonies and as you do it's going to let your faith explode so at the end when I get ready to pray for you you will be ready to get your miracle. For about the last six months I've had a spot right between my shoulder blades where two of my vertebrae will kind of fuse together and while we were soaking I just felt really cold all of a sudden and when I sat up, I adjusted my back and it cracked into place and it's no, sh no chance of it going back out. Holy cow, they were fused together? They kind of stick together and become really hard and I can't move that part of my back. And they're free right now? Yes. And when you sat up, you went crack, crack, crack and it went into place? Correct. Give Jesus a praise, amen. I want you to really meditate on that. Bones. Nobody touched the man. I mean, he got up and adjusted himself. But Jesus, just like that woman who had the neck crack into place and the woman with her knee went snap into place. I mean, his bones are moving around and Jesus is doing it. Amen. 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 Nobody's coming over and <laughs> adjusting you or anything else. You're just, it's just happening because you're in the presence of the healer, Jesus Christ. Uh, I got healing in my knees. I've had arthritis and uh, the pain's gone and the left knee cracked. The left knee actually cracked. And I can move where I couldn't. It was more ease than I could before. Wow, so uh, Jesus, the, the best chiropractor in the yes. planet, came and adjusted your knee and it literally cracked and now you can move it. Yes. Wow, and how does the other knee feel? Yes. It feels looser too. Looser too. Yes. Yes. Give Jesus a praise, amen. I had a car accident in March of 2010. Haven't been able to work and have discs that were missing, and I really believe God rebuilt them. And I'm healed in the name of Jesus. How do you feel? Can you t could you tell? I feel great. <laughs> okay, that wouldn't answer that question. I've had this horrible back pain. I'm not, like, it's, it's very bad. I probably need surgery, but I, I just, I, I have a couple of misaligned discs, and I'm, I'm very active, and so all the movement and everything causes a lot of tension and pain. But also, in my neck, when I was about 11 years old, I dove into a four-foot above-ground pool. Oh. Fortunately, it wasn't concrete, or I'd probably be paralyzed, but I just went like that. And I'd forgotten about it until the chiropractor asked me what, what happened, you know, when I was young. I said, I don't, I don't know. And then I remembered. But it, it was so painful. My arms go numb when I do work, and it causes a problem when I work and on my job and everything. But tonight, I just went <laughs> like that. I just kind of went... So you actually chair. made noise, you cracked yes, and yes. got like adjusted, yes, like a yes, chiropractor yes, thing? Yes, yes. And yes. did you feel the pain leave? I, I don't have any pain. I don't have any pain. And my, neck, so hurt. my neck is hurting a lot, you know, and so... Your neck is still hurting? No, it was, it was. And, and it's gone? It's gone, it's gone. Completely? Yeah. Well, let's give God a praise, yeah. amen. Yeah. Holy yeah. cow, Batman. Okay, so check it out. Uh, the word of knowledge came and... You actually got an adjustment. You heard yeah. the crackling yeah. and everything. Yeah. Nobody touched you but nope. Jesus, and he's the best chiropractor on the planet. And he came and just kind of went, oh, yeah, blah, and then yeah. it was there, done. Yes. Yes. Yep. Pain is gone. Yes. Can we give God a praise, yes. amen? Okay. Hallelujah. This happened last night after I left service. Um, I went back to my hotel room, and you called out about bones last night, but I didn't feel a thing. And I can't lay on my, my left side at all. It aches really bad. So I woke up at 4.44 a.m. lying on my left side. And I said, Lord, did you do something to me? Because I didn't feel a thing. And I laid there five minutes, 
still laying there. Ten minutes went by, and I was still laying on my left side. So my left side was healed last night, and I didn't know until I got back and lay down. So I Can we give God, God a praise? <laughs> I thank God for that. How long has it been like that, Phyllis? This has been like this for years because I work on a cement floor, and I've been standing on a cement floor for 14 years. I work at Caterpillar. Oh my goodness, you, in a warehouse then. Yes. So I wear steel toe boots every day and uh, safety glasses and all the nine yards. And standing on this floor for 14 years, I really ache almost everywhere. So when you were calling out all the places last night, I was like, okay, Lord, where? Because you called out the feet and everything. And I didn't know until I got back to my hotel room that my left side was touched by God last night and I laid on my left side the entire rest of the night. So, and I thank God for that. Praise the Lord. I feel my back pain had for a long time. How long? A year. Where's the upper or lower? All through my spine, I feel like a new woman. I woke up feeling 10 years younger. <laughs> Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I have been having some severe pain in my neck for about six months since January. I didn't, nothing tragic happened or anything like that, and I couldn't understand why I was having this pain. I was hoping last night that I would be delivered from the pain because when I praise, I like to praise up because I see things. And it hurt when I'd bring it down to so have to bring it down really slow or do real things like that. So when I was worshiping, I wasn't thinking about it. I asked him yesterday, I need to be delivered from this because it gives me migraines. And I was sitting there, and you began to speak about next being, I didn't feel anything. I kept doing like this, and I kept doing like this. And I'm like, Lord, I still feel it. I still feel it. But I kept worshiping. I kept worshiping. And then all of a sudden, there was this, like, pop. And I've been trying to get him to do it, because sometimes I can pop it. And you know, he'd lift me up, and it would never pop. And I was sitting there, and it's this pop. And I was like, oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. So I'm like, I'm free. I'm free. No more, no more of anything at all. No more of anything at all. The pain is completely the pain gone. Is completely, completely gone. You see that? Okay, this is so cool, huh? And you know, we hear this over and over again in every meeting we go to. It's like it's like Jesus goes around and actually does the thing where he adjusts people. And people, I mean, they, they get snap, crackle, popped, and they go right into place, and the pain completely leaves. Can you imagine that? You're actually being adjusted, and no one's touching you but Jesus. It's happening to you right in your seat. Amen? Is that cool? Can we give God a praise? I had a laminectomy in the early 90s. I think it was 92. Okay, let's, let's, what is a laminectomy? It's, it's a lower back uh, ruptured disc. And okay. uh, L5-S1 for all you doctors. But anyway, it was pretty bad. And I was in serious pain for like a year and a half. I didn't want to do anything. Um, and I decided to go ahead and get the drill and the tap and whatever you call it. A drill and a tap. Yeah. They drilled into That's your spine? Yeah, run through the muscle and, 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 and the bone and everything. And ever since then, I've had sciatic. It's been 75% better, but a lot of sciatic pain. I couldn't stand for very long. I was able to stand the whole time. And when she called it out, I felt my I felt Jesus on my back. And I, she called out my ankle. My ankle's been flicking. It's been chronic pain. My right wrist has been chronic pain. And I'm just totally, totally blessed. Wow, you got three. Three healings. Oh, could you feel the, whoa, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm 52, so, you know. I would say that's healed, amen. What happened, Mindy? Um, about four years ago, the doctors told me that I had deteriorating discs in my neck, which caused intense muscle spasms. I haven't had them in a while. They put me on muscle relaxers. I'm a preschool teacher. I can't go to work doped up. You guys don't want me taking care of your kids all doped up. <laughs> you know? I can relate. So, I quit. I <laughs> I have two small children, and it got to where it was really hard for me to pick them up sometimes. And the last two days, yesterday, I came in, and my neck was hurting, and my shoulders were really tense. And then when you called out the neck pain, it popped, like, really hard twice. Oh, wow. Wow. And then today, I was like, no, nah, I'm not dealing with this. I'm, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this. So, yeah, I mean, I'm like, no, no tense, no nothing, no nothing. I can... I just couldn't turn my neck all the way to my shoulders, and I can't. Look at that, huh? All right. That's awesome, girl. 
It actually, so when it popped, do you think it's like Jesus was starting to give you an adjustment right then? Yeah, because it's, I mean, it was hard, twice hard. I just went like that, like that, and it was like, bam, bam. <laughs> That's better than getting your neck snapped by some chiropractor scare, freak you out and stuff, amen? Jesus is the best chiropractor in the world. Did you know that? How do you feel? Great. I'm ready to go get my babies and throw them around, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best news of all, amen. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Did that build your faith or what? What exciting testimonies. And now, because your faith has risen up from hearing the testimony of all those people that were healed, let me pray for you so you can receive your miracle. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I release that same power that you just saw active in the meetings. It's dunamis power. Right now, into your soul and your body. I decree right now that every wound in your soul that would cause you to have a problem with your spine or cause you to have a, a problem with your legs or any other part of your body would be healed and then you would be prospered and be brought into health even as your soul is prospered. I just release that power right now. The power that will cause you to be healed inside and outside and that neck uh, spurs would go away and your neck would come into alignment and that the back right now the spine would straighten up you'd even feel yourself elongating get taller as your spine goes into its correct position right now and it would decompress those discs that have been squeezed and in pain right now in the name of Jesus I command your legs right now both legs to be of equal length equal length if there's a shorter leg I speak to that leg and I command it to grow out in the name of Jesus. I command your arms to be equal length in Jesus' name. That if there's a shorter arm or a, a misalignment in your shoulders, that they would come into alignment and the bones would grow out, that you would be equal and of equal length on both sides of your body in the name of Jesus. I command every bone to obey every bone to come into alignment with the power of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the name of Jesus, amen. Now just test your body. See if you can move in a place where you couldn't move before. See if you can bend your back. Stand up. Check the length of your legs right now. Try walking across the floor. Seeing, has, has your leg grown out right now? Is it the same length? Have your hips fallen into adjustment? Give your body a test. And if the miracle hasn't happened right this instant, expect that tomorrow morning when you get up out of bed that you'll be able to do something you didn't do before. Because even overnight, Jesus will adjust your bones, grow your bones out. If you want to uh, share the test you've had today after listening to this segment, would you please go online to our website, www.expectedinministries.com. We're looking forward to hearing from you.